Hi dear students, this is Kripa here and today we are going to do a very interesting chapter Why should we learn mathematics? This subject is probably one of the most hated subjects in your school. You hate it. You just don't like calculations. You don't like tables. But students, do you know this subject is one of the most important subjects not just in a school but in our entire life. So let's start with this very interesting story. Many years ago, there lived a man who was rich but very, very mean and greedy. He owned a huge house, many acres of land, hundreds of heads of cattle and had pots full of money. So this man who was very rich but he was very mean, he was really unkind and he owned a huge house. He had a huge house, many acres of land. Acres, it means a unit for measuring area of land. Not just that, but he had heads of cattle. He had lots of money and he also had lots of land. So that he had everything what one needs. But still, what happened next? Still, he was always looking for ways of making more money. Now, there's nothing wrong with making money, but this man was so greedy that he did not even mind cheating. Oh God, that's very bad, don't you think? Now, everyone feels like we want to earn a lot of money, but cheating someone, do you think it is nice? No. So this man, in spite of having so much of money, he still wanted to earn more. Now, that is not something which is wrong. But unfortunately, he was so greedy, he was so mean, he would also cheat upon anyone. That was wrong. So, farmers in his own village and the neighboring villages sometimes came to ask him for a loan. Now, what is the meaning of the word loan? A loan is an amount of money that is lent, that is given for use and it has to be repaid. So probably for a temporary time, you give a particular amount of money, somebody who needs it and later on that person should repay you back. So sometimes different farmers from different villages, probably even from his own village, people would come to him and they would ask for some loan. He would lend them, he would give them, he would definitely give something. Lend means to give something to someone on temporary basis for use. So he would give them the money and charge very high interest on it. Some of the farmers could not read or write. Now what is the meaning of the word interest? Students, the word interest here is something different. Interest, for example, means suppose if your friend asks you for money and he wants 100 rupees, you are willing to give those 100 rupees. But you tell him that if you are not able to give me 100 rupees in one week's time, after that, every one day will be costed 10 rupees extra, which means on the eighth day, your friend will have to give 110 rupees. On the ninth day, he will have to give 110 plus 10 rupees, that is 120 rupees. So with every passing day, your friend will have to give you extra 10 rupees and that is the meaning of the word interest but unfortunately the farmers there they did not know what to write how to write or even simply read and those poor farmers they really did not know that this one this rich man was cheating on them now so after a few days the rich man would suddenly announce that they owed him. Owed means they have to give him a huge amount. So bad was that. So after many, many days, he would suddenly announce everyone that probably one person has to give 1,000 rupees, the other has to give 5,000. Meaning, he would not give them a particular warning. But all of a sudden, he would just tell them that he should be given, he will have to take 5,000 from them and poor farmers, they would never have that much of money. And yes, on top of it, nobody was able to calculate as well. Nobody, nobody knew how exactly that small amount reached a very high amount. But I had taken only a small sum. 
so definitely some farmer or the other would keep asking but i have taken a very small sum i have taken a very small amount how is that possible why should i give you a big amount now what went wrong unfortunately nobody knew because nobody was literate nobody knew how to read or how to write in this way the farmers would protest they would go against they would try and convince the rich man ah but this is what my calculations show my dear man you don't know any mathematics look at his behavior he's so proud and he's not even helping he's so cunning he would keep saying look this is my calculation i know what i'm doing you you don't know mathematics so you please keep him out shut this is how he would treat the other people do you think students this is right no this is absolutely wrong if somebody doesn't know something why can't we help them why can't we just explain things to them but this man unfortunately he would never do that so let's see ahead that is why you don't understand now you must give back all that money or your land he would cheat upon others he would say you don't know mathematics and that is why you don't know any calculation and now you must give me the money or you must return your land in this way the rich man tricked many poor farmers and took away their houses land cattle or other valuable things they owned how sad was that this rich man would always trick trick means to cheat he would always cheat upon somebody or the other and those poor farmers they would give up anything or probably everything just to give that whatever amount he would ask for once a poor old man's wife fell ill he needed money for the treatment he had no money so he decided to sell his cow no one in his village wanted to buy a cow therefore he took his cow to the rich man now unfortunately he had nothing else to give so this poor man he had to give his only cow just because he wanted to treat his ill wife and so he took this cow to that rich man therefore he took his cow to the rich man how much money do you want for this cow obviously this person is asking how much money do you want she is a good cow and gives a lot of milk every day i want at least 500 rupees for her so definitely he is asking for some amount of money you remember students his wife is ill and he needs money so he is asking for 500 rupees 500 rupees no one will give you more than 25 rupees for her look at the difference he is asking for 500 rupees and this guy he is only going to give 25 rupees for her do you think it is right it is just no it is absolutely wrong please sir i am selling her only because i need the money she is worth a lot more than 25 rupees this poor man he is pleading because ultimately he wants it he wants the money his wife is ill so he's really pleading he's begging that he really needs the money and he's trying to explain he's trying to convince that this cow is really worth more than 25 rupees my offer is 25 rupees take it or leave it again he's being proud he's being rude the rich man just says look i have only 25 rupees to offer you take it or you leave it that's your choice so this is how he is behaving with that poor man The poor old man had to sell the cow for twenty-five rupees. Imagine he quoted, he wanted five hundred rupees, and he just got twenty-five rupees. Do you think it is his profit or loss? Surely, students, I'm sure you know so much of mathematics. It's definitely a loss. Five seventy-five rupees loss. Unfortunately, he had to take this loss. Sadly, he turned to go home. He had to go home because he wanted his wife to recover very soon.